please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Hi folks and welcome to another episode. This one's going to be a bit of a short, quick one. Uh, one of the things that I often get confronted with uh, is there's nowhere to charge EVs, the infrastructure isn't there yet um, and all those sort of hurdles that people don't really want to look, well not look past but the con genuine concerns that people have about uh, EV ownership and uptake of electric vehicles. So, But that is rapidly changing and just recently, very local to me, we've had a very nice setup open at Rugby which has given us 12 350 kilowatt charger units by Ecotricity and then a further 12 uh, Tesla units next to that. Now, I am in my Tesla. I have just picked up a part uh, that is being dropped at a customer's house. Um, and I'm going to be coming back past there. I've currently got 70% state of charge, but that's going to be much lower by the time we get there. I'm going to take our trusty Tesla down there and uh, try it out and see what uh, see what it's all about. Okay, folks, so I want to head to, if I just scroll out there, I want to head to there, which is rugby. What I'm doing is I'm heading to the supercharger, and that should preheat the battery as well, because the supercharger is right next to the new Ecotricity grid surf chargers. 63 miles i've got 37 percent left on the range so that'll probably get me there with about 15 percent remaining a rough guess and uh, hopefully that should be about right to get the best out of it so let's go Hi folks, now I wouldn't normally do a, a vlog about chargers, especially superchargers. I mean, there's 12 of them just there uh, and they're absolutely fantastic and pretty much the reason why Tesla is so far ahead of the game because of this. And they're all very reliable, although surprisingly there is one just down the back there not working. But that is not why we're here. I am here in our Tesla Model 3, but actually this is the reason I'm here because of this. This is the new infrastructure that we're starting to see roll out in the UK um, for owners or potential owners who are thinking about uh, jumping into an EV and worried that they can't charge. You'll start to see these rolling out at all the motorway services. So when you pull up, you'll have redundancy, you'll have the ability to charge. So if somebody else is charging, it doesn't mean you can't. And if one's not working, you've got another option. But these are 350 kilowatt units. These are the most powerful units that are installed anywhere on the planet. I don't think there's anything more powerful than this. So they deliver a ferocious amount of energy, all powered by them units there. They're for the Tesla supercharger units. These are for the Ecotricity and grid serve units. I drove 121.9 miles here, got here with 15%. But one of the problems that people say is that actually charging, it's a nightmare, apps, you know, cards, RFID cards, and they're right, it is a pain. So I want to show you this. Undo the charge port. Take that off there. That is a big, big cable. Oh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Plug it in. You'll see there on the screen that it says, yeah, scan your phone. So just doing my face ID. And let's see what it does. The ease of use is fantastic and is, is what people want. Now, the battery has been preconditioned because the Tesla thought it was going to the superchargers just down the way.
So if we take a quick look there, folks, it's saying 163 there on the charger, it's saying 173. So that is pretty impressive. This is the fastest I've seen it charge outside of the Tesla supercharger network. It's put 15% in and 11 kilowatt hours in oh, five minutes. So that's pretty good. Okay, folks, there you have it. Um, I did just swap and go down to the Tesla units just to try them, just for a comparison. There was no difference in them at all. Uh, so still charging at 70, 71 kilowatts at 73% state of charge. This screen is fantastic. The only problem I can find is, I don't know if it's because I think they're still on free bend, is I can stop the charge simply by pressing that button. And that's a little bit inconvenient if you are over there having something to eat and somebody just comes along and presses that button and it stops it. So I don't know if that's just because it's on free bend. You might have to scan your card when it's not. But yes, the future is looking bright for EV owners. So Tesla, 12 at the bottom, that's great. We're not really interested in those. We're more interested in these things here that are just absolutely what we need and what people want to entice them to drive an electric vehicle because then they can just pull in here and charge and it's going to work fantastic and expect to see a lot more of these at services rolling out all across the uk so anyway thanks for watching it's only a short one but i hope you've enjoyed it and uh see you in the next video so bye for now <laughs>